We've talked about this before. One of the reasons that piano can sometimes be a bit frustrating is it feels like everything takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of commitment. And sometimes it's difficult to see quick wins in our practicing. But today I've got another quick little trick for you that works wonders in your playing. So if you've ever felt like you can't get your melody to sing out above everything else that's happening in your music, it's a really common problem. We end up with something like, that everything is just a little bit too loud. This is a really common issue in piano playing because we have so much that we have to manage all at once and we know that the melody should be singing out over the accompaniment. We know that, we understand that. But sometimes when we try to tell the right hand, if the melody's in the right hand, for example, play louder, the left hand says, okay, message received, got it, let's play louder. And it's really frustrating because it's hard to get this beautiful singing melody that we want. And it kind of gets buried by everything that's happening in the left hand. This is particularly tricky when we have the melody in the right hand and then a complement in the left hand because the right hand is usually just one note and we're on the higher strings on the piano, which are much shorter and also much thinner actually. The bass notes on the piano are a lot thicker and a lot longer. So right off the bat, the left hand is automatically louder. And add on top of that, that usually we're, we have some jumping going on. And also the fact that we're playing chords instead of single notes, it makes it really difficult for that beautiful melody to come through. Unfortunately, there are very few skills at the piano that are this complex that actually have a quick solution, but I promise this works like magic. It's the closest thing to real life magic I've ever seen, and it will really help you instantly bring out that melody. So what you do, I call this ghosting. It doesn't get talked about a lot. It's not a trick that a lot of people know, I think. But what you're going to do is you're going to play your right hand if the melody is in the right hand. You're going to play wherever the melody is on its own. And then the accompaniment, you're also going to play along, but you're only going to play on the surface of the key. And go slowly the first few times you do this because it doesn't seem difficult. I've seen so many students say, yeah, that's easy, no problem, just to, to realize that you have to slow down. So trust me on this, go much slower than you think you need to, at least the first time. And it doesn't even matter if it's not in tempo, you still get the benefits of this exercise. I'm going to demonstrate this for you with this waltz that I played before. This is a Chopin waltz in A minor. Um, and you're going to play the right hand perfectly normally you can play with pedal or without pedal it doesn't matter and the left hand just plays along on the surface of the key and you see one of the chords came out all of those notes sounded it was very quiet if one or two pop out you're most likely going to have a few of the notes in the accompaniment that come through. It's just, it's really difficult to get zero notes out of the left hand or whatever hand has the accompaniment in your piece when you're doing this. Just be sure to hold yourself accountable and make sure that it's not all of the notes that are coming through. One or two every now and then is okay. If every single note is coming out, you need to go even slower and try and just be really patient with this exercise. Because once you manage, do it once or twice like that, maybe three or four times if you really want to be an overachiever. Um, but if you do that a few times, once you go back to playing normally, as long as you're still listening for this, and as long as you're looking for that same sensation, your melody is going to sing out beautifully. When you're, once you've done it a few times and you're going to go back to playing normally, you're going to listen really carefully for this balance that we're trying to develop. You're going to look for that sensation also, that the right hand is really developing this, or again, whichever hand has the melody, sometimes it's the left hand, um, it really has this beautiful singing line and the left hand is in the background. much more 
more easily to you. And that's all there is to it. You don't need to do this for the entire piece every single time you practice. Doing it just for one phrase or two phrases at a time is really enough because it just, it shows your brain what you're looking for. I think this over-exaggeration of playing the melody really loudly in one hand and then just barely scratching the surface with the other, uh, it, it makes, it flips some sort of switch in the brain and it really tells your brain, this is what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to do. And then when you go back to playing normally, it makes it much simpler to actually achieve. So again, don't try to do this for the whole piece all at once unless you really like torturing yourself, but really one or two phrases in every practice session is enough to make sure that you're really developing and advancing this important skill. Let me know how this goes for you. If you're on social media, be sure to tag me. I'm at Piano with Robin on Instagram, and I'd love to hear your progress. I'd love to hear how it works out for you. And I just, I'm wishing you all the best on your musical journey. If you have any questions, if there are any tutorials that you would like to see on the channel, drop them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get back to you and produce some new tutorials that are exactly what you're looking for that will help you on this journey. And as always, until next time, happy practicing.